Hello and welcome to another episode of Scandi Tutorials. Today we're going to learn how to swap out faces and make some pretty funny effects using Adobe Photoshop CC. Okay, so let's get straight into the tutorial. Now we're going to be changing faces around. I have no idea what is going to happen, so we're just going to go with it and I'll show you how to do it too drag and drop the image that you're going to use into Adobe Photoshop and I'm going to be using this picture of a lovely family press Control and J to make a duplicate of the layer so now you've got layer 1 on the right hand side like so select your rectangular marquee tool in the top left and make a rough selection of the first face that you're going to select out to add on top of another one now don't worry about going around the outside of the edges as long as you've, as long as you've got the, all of the features then you're pretty good to go. Next press Control and C on the keyboard to make a copy of the selection like that and make a new layer on top in the bottom right hand corner and then press Control and V to paste the selection onto the new layer. Now you can see that we're left with a face that looks like that turn on the bottom two layers and the next thing to do is press Control and T for transform and move the face roughly into the space where we're going to superimpose it to rotate just take your mouse to the corner and once you get the kind of bent arrows should we say then you can rotate like so so I'll just rotate it roughly change the opacity down so you can see both layers together and I always try to line up the eyes as close as possible to make it look as real as possible as well so put them there like that and I'm gonna make the face a little bit bigger so it's more in ratio shall we say so take the mouse to the corner once you've got the straight arrows hold shift and then drag outwards try to line it back up again Let's make it a tiny little bit smaller. I might make another little rotation. And then leave it there like that. Press the check mark, then turn the opacity back up to 100% like so. Add a layer mask on top, then click back over to your original layer click image adjustments curves and try to make the skin tones match as much as possible so I can see that I've got this white here I want to try and increase it just a little bit so I'm just gonna make a minor change for now and I'm going to come back to curves but I'm just gonna increase it just slightly like so click over to your layer mask then hit control and I to invert the layer mask and make it disappear now we're using masking we want to move over to our blacks and the whites as well I'm going to use the whites to bring back in the original face and the blacks to paint it back out now you can use a clone stamp tool but I prefer personally just to use the brush tool it's, it just makes it easier for me and I don't I don't like the clone stamp tool there you go <laughs> there you go it's official anyway press B on the keyboard to select your brush tool and change the size of the brush by using the brackets under the plus and return key like so now I'm gonna have my opacity at 100 and the flow at 100 as well just for now and I'm gonna select a hard edged brush just for now as well and with the hardness at 100 percent and I'm just going to change the defining features of the face so I'll bring in that eye Bring in that one, bring in the nose, and the mouth as well. There we go. That's a pretty good start. I'm going to have the eyebrows as well, actually. Yep. I'll keep that there like that. I'm going to go back over to my original layer, select image, adjustments and curves again. So now we've got kind of a little bit of a 
a better look at what it's going to look like so you can change around with the curves again to make it match as best as you possibly can so I'm just going to have just a little play around change it to there like that I'm going to adjust my opacity back on my mask layer change that down to about 50% and change my flow down to about 10% there or thereabouts select a really soft edge brush and then just begin to paint in in the areas that are most unblended at the moment so I'm going to use a bit of a bigger brush and then just start to get rid of the the main contour lines where you can clearly see that the face has just been has been pasted in so I'm going to increase the flow a little bit just to catch just to get rid of this and then just make your way around the face if you need to make a couple of changes to the flow or the opacity or anything like that just go ahead and use your blacks and your whites to bring it back in and take it back out again so I'll zoom in here using alt and scroll and then I'll take it out to say the edge of the face but I want to keep this bit here so I'll change it to black and I'll probably turn the opacity down and the flow down more as well and then just run back over a couple of places so you can see if I do it closer change this back up and this up a little bit as well and change to white and you can see that it gets rid of the solid lines and you can blend in and if there is any like solid places just increase everything again change the size down and just make your edits around the face just increasing and decreasing the opacity so I'm just going to go ahead and do that now Now if you do need to play around with curves again to change skin tones just click back over image adjustments not levels curves image adjustments curves and make your final edit like so say that pretty much matches and then if there's any other little areas that I can see, I can see one or two little bits here that I want to get rid of. Click over onto your mask and then just edit them out. Or bring them back in. there we go so that's the first face added onto there I've done this pretty quickly but the longer you spend just going around the edges with the brush tool the less you'll be able to see the defining lines anyway next I'm gonna take this face down here so same again rectangular marquee tool make a selection on the original layer like so press control and C new layer on top Control and V, Control and T, move it into place, adjust the opacity, increase the size by holding Shift, change the rotation by using the 
bent arrows. And then place your image by clicking the check mark. Change the opacity back to 100. Create a layer mask on top. Control and I to invert the layer mask. Press B for the brush tool and use your blacks and your whites on the layer mask to take in or take out the image. Then once you're done just play around with the curves again so select back onto the normal layer, image, adjustments, curves and increase the curve either up or down to blend it in with the face perfectly. So you could go up this way if I wanted to lighten it but I think I'm going to try and keep it dark to sit perfectly with the face and then press OK. Now the longer you spend on it, like I said, the more perfect a selection you will get. I've literally just spent about, what, two minutes changing these two faces around. So, you know, spend a good 10, 15 minutes on each one and it will look perfect. And just blend the skin by increasing, decreasing the flow and opacity, the hardness of the brush and using layer masking. I hope you enjoy this tutorial anyway guys. Do not be a pen tool and subscribe to my channel by clicking right here. And have a nice day.